Hello everybody, I'm Carl. Welcome back to this aviation RPG slash simulator, Aeronautica. I will give you time to read the update notes. Feel free to pause. We're going to go over three most recent of them. So the two latest updates with patches has to do with fixes to the engine sounds and the models of the current aircraft in the game. It appears that the crashes are no longer on my end. I don't get the um, Roblox nudes to quit. We're sorry. Finally. And here's just minor fixes to the... Some in-game things like yes, the, the Porto Menaces, ILS. The tipping issues on the Antonov An Little Nutset. Alright, so version 1.88 has like, let's see, how many new aircraft? Is it 17? Yeah. Right. So first let's go to Hampton for our first one. Oh yes, this is the um the Mikoyan Gurevich Mig Pietnatsit modeled by Hyperant and it only has two color schemes. The the body and the wings and color two is the stabilizers. I hope you get it. <laughs> I hope someone would update this to current standards. Alongside the um the saber. The one at Clarence. So we're going to Hampton Field. Where is Hampton Field? And standard J. Racked at 5.36 hours. And here's the Transavia PL 12 air truck might. It's the Australian agricultural aircraft. And the newest, oh, the most recent aircraft release in the game is this Swiss prototype kit plane, the Ace Air Eric's A200. 
or should I say, a uh, 200, <laughs> or how do you call it in French? So aircraft gray. And this should be red. Right, the Acer Eric Artisa or the A Sly Hundert, the A Duecento, or what's that in what do you call that Swiss Romance language? Yes, this Swiss kit plane, the Acer Eric A two hundred. Whoops! <laughs> yeah, the vehicle database. The next new plane is this one, a convertible from the B. The yeah, the British Aerospace Systems Hawk T1A, which is the trainer aircraft you can buy at Lightham Air Force Base. The British Aerospace Systems Hawk 200. And does it have a call scheme? So color one might be the body, and color two is the top and the vertical stabilizer, and color three might be those white parts. The light multirole jet fighter, the Hawk 200. So like all other convertible planes, it might require one hour and a handful of money to convert from the T1A. Let's now go to Eisenhart, Air Force Base. For the next ones. Alright, so I currently have two red rarity planes at hand. My most recent is the crafted plane, the XF 108. And yes, it's still a bit off center since its release. This should have been the center. Yeah, the center is like where the after burning rockets are. Yeah, the after burning engines. But yes, I hope they fix the <laughs> position. Yes, you, in the first person view, the five key, you can see this part. So let's go to Eisenhart and check out the new vehicles. Starting with the multi engines, the Grumman XF. 5F Skyrocket. Alright, so let me check my... Oops.
aircraft gray. Here as well. And the colored part is the wings. Yes, the wings. Right, this should be the approximate RGB colors for the yellow. The sky rocket. Next up, the Republic XF-12 Rainbow. Prototype Reconnaissance Aircraft. So we have the Grumman XF-5 Skyrocket, a prototype naval fighter, and now the XF-12. The rainbow. And then there's the Northrop T thirty eight Talon. So this should be aircraft white. Aircraft white. Lighter jet black. The Talon. Oh, <laughs> you should notice that the vehicle may be less detailed in this view than in game, so the wheels are like like this, but you can see through the wheels in this view. The Talon. And then there's the Vogue F8U1 Crusader, an aircraft carrier based fighter.
The Vote Crusader. Yes, I'd suggest to add an, an American aircraft carrier somewhere, maybe at Eisenhardt or probably in any of those islands in Aconia, just to role play on this taking off <laughs> along with other of those carrier based aircraft. The Crusader. Later we will talk about the conversion from the F-102A Delta Gat Dagger, the F-106 Delta Dart. So stay tuned. So where is this The SAIA 90. I put it somewhere in Alavega. One of those airports in Alavega, that is. Right, here it is. The Concept Air Superiority Fighter never went into production from Argentina. The Fabrica Militar de Aviones Sistema de Armas Integrado Argentino 1990. The FMA SAIA 90. The FMA SAIA 90. So color one and color two is this tessellation of quadrilaterals in the body of the aircraft, and color three should be this one. Let me demonstrate. So you can see a lot of quadrilaterals. There we go, let's put in some kind of blue. That's color two, color one, this is color three. And there's the anti-air missiles or are they field tanks they remain white the argentine air superior fighter the saia 90. Let's now head our way into Radang International. For this short range turboprop aircraft, the Industri Pesawat Terbang Nosantara N250, the IPTN N250. How's my Indonesian? N250. So it's shorter range than the ATR-72 and the Bombardier-8 Q400, but that's all there is. Why such a short range? And yes, this is modeled by Altac with similar detail as the other remodeled and modeled planes, especially the Fokker F-27 and F-50. Oh, so I think, oh, did Altac remodel the F-27, F-52? I, I, I really wanna know. I think I forgot who modeled it. But anyways, this is color one, the most of the top of the aircraft, 
the stabilizer, the wings, color 2 is where this gold part is, and the undercarriage is color 3, or this aircraft gray. The M250. So here's the dealership statistics. It's only 9,500 wings points in a cycle that we have a chance. And if it doesn't, you need six up lock points. So good in short range routes, like around around the 150 range, at most. The next aircraft, we will go to Fiskar Island Airport. Where is Fiskar? So, still have some orange rarity and the engine eel in the chest. So there's the KM, the Vidvinatsit, and the two variants of the Tuplo Tu Stosor Ketire. Let's do the the one I someone wanted to sold for a large plane. <laughs> one of my large planes that is. Uh, yes, the Ilishin Il Sendesyat the IL seventy six. Il seventy six. What did I say? One view at Fiskar and night exactly eight o'clock in the evening yes i think this is the highest game quality all right this polish agricultural aircraft the Polski Sakwadi Lotnice M. Pietnaschet, Belfegor. The PCL M15 Belfegor. And another of those plates modeled by Altac. You should say this is aircraft white. Aircraft white. This should be aircraft white. I think there should be aircraft gray somewhere. Okay, so the color two is this line over here, and yes, this should be aircraft gray. Let me check. Yes, this is aircraft gray. This is 1,171. Oh yes, this should be black. Check the image and it should be black. M business chip. It sounds like the Slavic Pietnatset, Pietnatset, but the Polish it's business chip. The Belfigor. And the first one that is a jet aircraft, the rest are either ultralight or single engines. Great that we have a jet agriculture, an agricultural jet aircraft. The Empis Nest Jet.
Moving on. Well, these two aircraft are modeled by Orange Time Express, and they are sold at North Eichev Experimental Works. But since they're too large to be from taking off from that small airport, I've moved them both to Rishorosh Regional. So where's Rishorosh? So the first one here is the Tupolev Ant Dwatsat, the Ant 20. And it's named after a aviator named Maxim Gorky. Well, that smart engineer. Or, oh, was he the, oh, no, he's not, I think he's not the one who, I don't remember who, Maxim Gorky was the, was the propagandist, or, oh, yeah, I think it's, he's a writer. But anyways, this is the Ant Dwatsat, the Ant 20. It's, um, I think it's just after World War Two, so it has the, Wingspan of a modern Boeing 747. And where is color one? I know this black here is color two, so let's check the maintenance. So color two is this black part at the top. It should be red around here, but they should be all be red or gray. So in color three is this part, this middle part of the fuselage. The back parts of the wings and horizontal stabilizers. Uh, I guess it's for propaganda purposes, it should be all in the Soviet red. But there should be some gray in there as well. And the other one, an orange rarity plane. But it's a concept, so never got so it's never been built. The Tupolev Ant Dwatsat Vossum. The Tupolev Ant 28. There's longer wings. Yep, look at those long wings. How does this compare to the Serrano launch? So yes, it goes the same way. Color one is this body. And color two is this little edge. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Let's look at the maintenance part again. So color one. Oh, so color one. Color two is the front part of the wings and the middle. And then the stabilizers. And color three is is just the rest of the wings. The Antwatsat Bossum. It's just the larger version of the Antwatsat mentioned earlier. How many more concurrent players? Still the similar amount. Yes, the Ant 28, the concept airliner, the Soviets. Well done, Soviets. <laughs> so we have here the Ant Dwatsat, the Ant 20, Soviet propaganda transport. It can do charter flights. And this one too, it can also do charter flights. What more jobs can they make for these? Now here's the main part of... So where's the Delta Dart? Yes, the Delta Dart, we're, we're going to... We're going to test the... No, here, we're here, we're here at Norman? Yes. So here's the Convair F-102A Delta Dagger. And let's wait for Norman to load, and yes, here it is. 
Norman International. So, for the F-102A, the precision target strike, the minimum speed is at least 556 knots. And the rewards is almost 1,400 money and 3,100 wings points. So, we're going to make this quick and we'll take off from the apron before we convert this to the Delta Dart. Shall we? So, 6 key for the crosshair and the 9 key. Let's begin.
okay, so I got in a rush for a while, but... The rewards were mediocre. Let's land back to Norman. So you would experience tripping on takeoff, or the related, and some of these crazy runway things, but it's not much of a problem. Right, let's um, taxi to this field stop here. What do we have here? I think that's the NASA 82. 
that one with the oblique wing. Anyways, let's end the flight. Let's now convert this F-102A into the F-106 Delta Dart. And let's check the hours. We have 1.64 hours on this dagger. Let's give it an overhaul. And we will convert this to the redesigned version, the Delta Dart. It fixes many of the flaws encountered with the F-102A and improves on the design. And we might need to change the colors right after. So it requires at least one logged hour in this vehicle. Or interceptor. Alright, it's not reversible, but yes, we can always get another F-102 at Eisenhart, if we like, so yes. We've just converted to the Delta Dart. So there's really no other conversions right now, but there might be. The Delta Dart. Hmm, how about this? So, it's designed with a lightning bolt, and so color one is most of the body, color two is the lightning bolt, and the top, and color three is the outline, and the bottom part of this, where the field tags are. The Delta Dart. Conveyor F-106. So what are the changes? So it used to be subsonic, like it's below 600 knots for the Delta Dagger. Now it's... Oh, great. Mach 1.2. Yeah. Mach 1.2. Or, yeah, 1.2, 1.3. Yes, it's 884 knots. 884 knots. And then your maximum reward is almost 2,500 money and about 5,600 wings points. Oh, it's even more challenging. I think it's around the, the range of the, hmm, the usual yellow rarity fighters. <laughs> so, and yes, the payload is still the same. So let's give it a try. Here is our Delta Dart.
Did you see that on the first person? There's a cone. Right, so let's prepare for the usual precision target strikes. The 9 key, the 6 key. And a bit of a zoom out. Right, 884 knots maximum. Minimum. So around 67 would be fine. A near miss of 2,300 weak points and 1,000 money. Oh, we can't do it in this angle there, so let's do it the same way. Not enough speed. Let's try this again. So, 1,200 money, 2,700 weak points. Alright, this is also a not bad precision target strike for the Delta Dart. Air break. And the yellow throttle is at 9%. Okay, so it's even more challenging than the Delta Dagger, so it's like the usual other fighter planes. So yes, it's, it's a bit challenging. It's challenging! So I'd recommend you have to own both of these to train in your precision target strikes. As you improve, you can 
go for the planes with a higher minimum speed requirement. But yes, it takes a lot of practice. Back to the field depot. Plus extra refuel. And here's this code remnant in first person view. The uh, pointy thing. Yes, the XF108 also has this same issue, except this is the Dart only has this code remnant right over here. Yes, here. Pointy as a needle. Concurrent players. And our flight. Overhaul. And here it is. The Conveyor F-106 Delta Dart. Oh, so I think... Is this modeled by Master Halo, as in, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, I think this is modeled by, yeah, I think this is Jackson, Jackson modeled the F-106, and probably as well as the F-102A. The Delta Dart. And yes, you might remember you have been experiencing the Lockheed F-117 F Nighthawk lacking any sounds before this version, 1.88.2. There are no sound, there's no engine sounds, as well as the ignition and shutdown. Let's, let's try it on. Can you listen to it? And shut down. And you'll figure out the rest when you take this played out on a run. One of those great hunting. But yes. There's already sounds for the F-117 Nighthawk. Well done. And a few more aircraft have uh, their sounds restored as well. Let us now go to Admiral Varyag, that small aircraft carrier in Selinyosk. At Admiral Varyag, here is the Sukhoi Su Dwatsatsim. The NATO reporting name is Flanker. <laughs> so, Lockheed sold me one of theirs a long time ago. And I was able to buy one of one mine at Nova Ross Air Force Base. So, so this is the 
I think this is the ground variant of the Russian Air Force. It's um, the bluish grays. And here is this small aircraft carrier with a uh, launch ramp, the Admiral Varyag. I think it's a remnant from Neo Warfare X. And and usually the Sukhoi Su Dwatsat Sim would um, be able to fly from this ramp, but sometimes there's a uh, there could be stalling while you do that because I think you're close, you're, you have spawned close to it, but you can just do a reverse thrust and then you can just launch yourself up into the ramp and wherever you want to go. But yes, that was the Dwatsat Sim, the Su Dwatsat Sim, Su 27. But that's, yes. All right, so I think. So why there's two of these SU-27s? Well, we're going to actually mention that other aircraft also being released. It's the Berkut, the Golden Eagle. So let's see, I was able to, hang on, let, let me confirm if this is the black one, because here is, yes, this is the, the black and white. So let's go to my profile and inventory. That's a lot of, all right, okay, slowly. You can say that I have like every acquirable plane part in the game, including the XF-108, the Tris, the right flyer, the rare and uncommon plane parts, that's a lot of them. And here it is, one of the new, re newly released aircraft in the game, and it's also orange rarity, the Sukhoi Su Soroksim Berkut. The Russian for Golden Eagle, and the NATO reporting name is Firkin. So over the course of days, I was able to procure some crates with these. I've won the part two at Tom's totally legitimate government establishment near Fiskar. And a few of these parts, they're traded from other players, especially two from Orange. And, and somebody named, um, What's that? I think it's from Star Trek. The Dalek something. Yeah, Dalek Bubbles. He, he traded me like two parts, the part six and something else. Is it part three or part eight? So yes, I have a full kit of the, yeah, yeah, you can call it a kit. But yes, I have all eight parts of them, including some duplicates. And yes, it's the black. Yes, yeah, so to craft this Sukhoi Su Soroksem, you need eight unique parts as well as a Sukhoi Su Dwatsat Sim, the NATO reporting name flanker. And let's craft it. And we've crafted this plane, the one with the four of swept wing. And here it is. The suit 47. So compared to the Dwatsat Sim, it has 1,200 knots. That's like 100 knots less. And the stall speed is 15 less than the Dwatsat Sim. And that's all there is. And yes, the eight kilometer range less. But what is unique about this is the forward swept wings. Yes, the Russian prototype fighter. Experimental, yeah, yeah, prototype experimental, whatever you want to call it. Then color one is, let me demonstrate. So 
So collar one is the most of the body. The collar two is the the trims on the wings, as well as the canards. And collar three are the white parts. Yes, rainbow. <laughs> right, let's end this on a high note. Let's take this off from the Admiral Varyag, and I'll see you everyone on the next Aeronautica video. Do svidaniya. What the heck, there are no, there's no air brake?